Hi everybody, I'm Juma Madden with Juma and Spice and this message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Cancer. And this is your life, love, and energy for the month of November 2020. I'm super excited. I feel like, um, you know, a lot of water signs are going through this phase where they're just ready to just kind of move forward and begin something new, start something fresh, um... I will say, though, Cancer, you know, watch out for, you know, and especially in the very beginning of November, you know, watch out for negative comments or um, negative feedback, things that you might can say to other people to hurt their feelings or um, things that people may even say to you. You know, you may want to block that energy out. This is not really the month to um, project you know, and I'm not saying that you guys are negative people, but I'm just saying that you might want to be a bit cautious about how you are projecting yourself um, out there in the month of November, okay? Now, if you guys have not had an opportunity to review your Mercury retrograde terror reading for October 13th until November 13th, then you guys may want to do just that. Um, before you actually check this one out. Just so that way you guys can have a bit more clarity, okay? Now, Cancer, with that being said, you know, the month of November is usually all about transformations, new beginnings, um, people starting over. Um, when it comes to love, I like to think of this month as twin flame energy, you know? It's a twin flame season. That's how I like to look at it. Because when you think about it, everything usually comes in doubles or triples. And when that happens, we know that spirit is with us. We know that we are being guided to do something, especially for us in particular. So with that being said, let's get started with your um, life and love energy for the month of November, okay? I already pre-shuffled everyone's cards, so let's get into it, all right? Let's see what spirit has to offer you. I think we an I. <laughs> I'll keep getting ice every time I take a sip. Like, I'm like, okay, I don't want the ice. I just want the drink. <laughs> and, I, and I keep getting ice. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, cancel. Let's go. Okay, so some of these cards actually came out for another sign. Um, it's not just you, Cancer. Like, it seemed like this has been, like, a trend this month where a lot of, um, our cards are coming out repetitively for other signs. And it just lets me know that this is double confirmation, that this is definitely, um, a month of transformation that everybody pretty much needs to be working towards a similar goal. So, with that being said, I would like to, um, take these two cards here and, um... I actually get clarity on them, okay? So give me one second. This is for Cancer, Summoner Rising, or Venus and Cancer. I'm going to actually put this one back, too. This is for Cancer, Summoner Rising, or Venus and Cancer. This is for the Cancer Man, the Cancer Woman. This is for the Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Cancer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, look. See what I mean? I put this back and it came back out. Wow. And then one of your other cards like fell down. I gotta try to get it. Give me one second. Ah. And once again, it's a card that just keeps coming out. So I'm gonna let it be, guys. <clears throat> okay. All right. So right now, it seems like you're daydreaming a lot or kind of feel like you're just, you know, reminiscing about the good times. Um, I also see here seeking knowledge about something, okay? Um, it seems like a lot of you, um, want to progress and do a new thing and to do something prosperous and to do, you know, to be of service or something, but I feel like a lot of you just don't know what that is for you, you know? So, Cancer, for a lot of you, you know, this can kind of help a little bit. I would say that you guys are very naturally creative and, 
um, not the most spontaneous in the world, but you guys can be extremely creative, very artistic, very intelligent when it comes to innovation, building things, putting things together, um, stabilizing things, okay? So when it comes to what your purpose is, there may be some things that you may want to take into consideration, okay? I know that I feel good when I'm being of service, but what type of service do I feel good at? You know, um, do you feel good as being a dancer? Um, do you feel good as teaching? Do you feel good as being a painter? Do you feel better being a singer? Do you feel better being, you know, um, just literally like a part of the community where you are feeding the homeless? Maybe you are giving shelter to the homeless. Like, what is it that really makes you feel good inside, right? That is what you need to focus on. Again, we want to use the first week of November to be honest with ourselves, you know, and we're gonna, you know, it's important that you guys try your best not to focus on negative attributes like being jealous or being greedy or being selfish, um, being egotistical, you know, you want to focus on giving back to the community, you want to be full of faith, you want to spread love and light, you want to um, forgive, you know, you want to focus on forgiveness. Those are the type of things that you should be focused on. But I feel like a lot of you guys, like I said, are like daydreaming, okay? And with knowledge being here, you know, again, it's a lot to look forward to. I feel like you're seeking knowledge about something that you want to know um, a lot more about. This can be you. Um, maybe you're not sure of where, where you need to go or who you need to talk to. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of things that you need to know in regard to, like, this particular topic. So, whatever. Some of you might be thinking about going back to school, in other words, right? Thinking about going back to school, taking up some type of trade. Um, you know, it's so important that you increase your knowledge at this point, okay? I feel like knowledge is extremely important, and so is wisdom and understanding. And maybe those are some of the things that you need to pray about you know, this season in particular, okay? Um, you may need to work on knowledge about how to change your personality, to um, bring about some type of change when it comes to yourself or the world, to help you understand, you know, like the world around you. Um, this could be also you, again, just kind of studying or building knowledge um, on something that you want to know a lot about. Okay, this could be your spirituality, your um, career, your creativity. Um, I feel like knowledge is the foundation that can provide you with so much more opportunities, you know. So if you are thinking about going back to school or taking up some type of trade or um, maybe just simply studying, like it don't have to be like a degree. I just feel like some of you are just taking up some type of trade to help you better understand your situation or understand everything that's in front of you, okay? It doesn't have to be anything too big, you know? But I feel like you guys are trying to understand even yourself a bit more and maybe even understand why you um, do a lot of the things that you do. Maybe you're trying to understand why you are the way that you are. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? Um, also, this can be just simply about increasing, you know, your knowledge or your wisdom about something, okay? Especially something that really interests you, like your passion, um, something you really love. Again, some of you could be thinking about going back to school, okay? Now, with the seven, seven heavenly virtues here, you know, it says that, you know, this is all about enlightenment. And once again, wisdom and knowledge. Spirits want you to know that, you know, it's important that you have faith and believe in all that is good and meaningful, there's a lot of intuition coming at you this season, my love, okay? A lot of intuitive energy, a lot of understanding of God, you know, spirit. 
the angels, source. I feel like you know the keys of goodness, but do you always use them? No, you know? And I feel like that is what has been holding you back, is that maybe you have, I feel like it's like, you don't want to be one of those people that's like all talk but no action, you know? Like, you know what to do, you know what you should be doing, you know what you should say, um, you know how you should treat people, and here with the seven heavenly virtues, it's saying, believe and trust in the right things. Believe that good will take over, that good will prevail. That is important to be of service, to provide a lot of kindness towards yourself and other people, okay? Um, you want to be good to yourself, and you want to be good to other people. This is also about never giving up. Again, having faith, being fair, having patience, or at least be willing to accept grace, or at least be willing to forgive. This is also about, about this is also about like, Okay, I said forgiveness, but this is also about patience, endurance, you know? Um, like, if you are constantly finding yourself being in a situation where it's like others are doing one thing and you're doing another and you know what's right, continue. I just heard lead by example. Continue to lead by example. That is what I'm feeling, Okay. <clears throat> Lead by example. That is what I'm feeling for you. Lead by example. Okay. Um, well, we have some tarot cards here. Okay. So we can um, definitely do some tarot cards here for you and get clarity. Okay. And you do want to believe in your dreams. Like whatever it is. Because even with the seven, seven heavenly virtues here. You know, you want to have faith. You want to believe in all that is good. You want to seek knowledge, especially with something that you really want to do. You know, but we don't want to be weak. We don't want to just, you know, um, take someone's word for it, you know. So I feel like for you, this is, is, is bigger than, um, it's bigger than just, oh, you know, let's just study. Let's just go back to school. It's bigger than that, you know. Is it you do need to believe in yourself like now more than ever? You know, this is not really the time to be pessimistic or negative towards other people because when you do that, the universe is giving you exactly the type of energy that you put out. So, you want to be very careful about the energy you put out and the things that you say and how you say it, okay? Um, I feel like courage will be returning to you. You will feel a lot better. <laughs> but I feel like only you can make these dreams a reality. So if you have been feeling a bit salty or discouraged about something in particular, this can be about love. This can be about your career. But something's been having you on edge, Cancer. And... I feel like it's because you want to be happy. You want something to be real. You want to be honest about what you're feeling. So this is bigger than what people think, okay? So let's look at your tarot cards and let's see, you know, what we can possibly understand here, okay? We have the temperance card here, which is Sagittarius energy, okay? And the temperance card is normally about, like, that give and take energy, but it's coming out in reverse. So, again, 
there's it's not a lot of that here because it's like there's a lot of misunderstanding things that you're still trying to learn or grasp to things that you're still trying to understand um I feel like you are wishing or hoping for a situation to come to a complete end. And again, the, you know, things will be over for you um, and your troubles will come to a complete end. But, and I do see that and I can confirm that here with the Four of Wands, it seems like you guys are coming from like this negative um, thought pattern to say, you know what, you know, let me not be this way. Let me not think this way. You know, I want to overcome my negative thoughts, my negative patterns. Um, let me try to learn how to forgive other people. You know, you're going from like this negative or pessimistic energy to, you know what, show me how to be a better person. What can I do? What can I say? How can I be of service? How can I be a better woman? How can I be a better man? Like you're, you're really learning how to shift your energy. And with you doing that, of course, the universe is going to get back to you. So it makes a lot of sense as to why you started off with all that energy in the first place. Because knowledge came out first. So you are learning how to control your temper how to control or at least work on um, that low self-esteem, okay? Those low emotions. You want to learn how to vulnerably trust someone. Then whether this is family, whether this is a loved one, you're learning how to vulnerably trust people, okay? With the Ten of Swords coming out here in reverse, this is saying that even though you may not feel like you're making it through, you will make it through because at the end of the day, if you're truly ready to walk away from the situation, then you are going to adapt to these new way to this new way of thinking and this new way of presenting yourself. You will be a lot more positive, a lot more outspoken, a lot more honest, a lot more lovable. I cleaned my stove earlier, and it's like, I don't know if you guys, like, yeah. But it's like, the smell is so, like, boom, in your face. And I feel like, it's like, it's so strong. It's so strong. Because I just cleaned it, and it's like, I'm cooking something, and it's like, it just smacked me in the face, and it's irritating. Because it's like, boom, boom, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't even breathe because it's like smacking me in the face. But anyway, we're on top of the seven heavenly virtues, you got the four of wands, okay? So again, like I said, with you being that way, it's going to bring a lot of love your way, a lot of abundance, and a lot of prosperity, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, or some of you can be dealing with an air sign, like a Libra, um, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, okay? So, let's look at some love cards, though. Let's get some clarity on this, okay? Let's look at some love cards and see what all of this even means for you, because I feel like for some of you, this is just about you making changes personally, in your personal life, whether it's about your career, your love life, you know, your social skip, social life, whatever it is, I feel like this is about you making changes personally. So, Cancer, on top of the temperance, you guys got seduction. So, maybe that's what you're learning how to do, okay? Not being sucked into something every time someone calls you or asks you to be there, okay? But it's talking about flirting and dating, hooking up, and once again, temptation, okay? Um, Third-party interference, okay? I hope that there's not a third-party interference. But if there is, you know, there, it may be time to separate yourself. It may be time to, you know, to kind of think things over, to think about what you really deserve and what you really desire, okay? With the Ten of Swords coming out in reverse, on top of that, it's a Cupid's arrow. And it's saying, once again, to have faith, you know? A lot of your cards are saying that. Believe in your dreams. Believe in yourself. Believe in, you know, your union, Okay, there's going to definitely be some type of gathering or some type of 
invitation of some sort that's going to give it a chance to kind of prove yourself and that may be something that you want to do at this time okay is it's all about proving yourself this season you know hey I'm not as bad as you think give me a chance you know let me show you how how much I really love you let me show you what a good man I can be so for you cancer this is you know I feel like a lot of you water signs are going through this but this is, you smell that, right? Yeah, I smell it too. That's what I was just saying in my video. It smells crazy. No, but whatever I'm cooking, that's it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Okay, so sorry, guys. I told you, like, the smell was really strong. It was, like, smacking me in the face. And, yeah, my husband also said like damn what's that smell so yeah it's it's pretty strong um so yeah have faith you know love is coming it definitely is coming um it also says here photographs so i like that the photograph card came out right on top of the four of wands because it's saying look at your photos you know Listen, we have so much, we have so many good times. We have so many memories. We had so much we can reminisce on and talk about and laugh about. You know, are you sure you want to give all of this up? You know, so for some of you, you may be thinking about giving this stain up. And then some of you might say, you know what? I can't. We have so much history together. You know, I can't live without you. I don't want to be without you. Um, some of you, this person could be saying this to you, you know, babe, let's not walk away. Let's not get this up right now. Um, let's try to find a way to make this work. What can we do to make this happen for us? You know, I'm not ready to walk away from this situation. Um, I'm not ready to give you away, you know, so <laughs> it seems like you have a lot to learn, but it's like this pace person. I feel like this person loves you so much, like they want to give you that chance, you know. I feel like they truly admire you, like they really want to give you this chance or this opportunity to prove yourself, you know. And um, I think that's what I love about it most, Cancer. So, um, I mean, I guess if you guys have any questions or concerns, you can message me. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Please visit my website, g1insights.org. I would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers. So please subscribe to my channel so that way anytime I go up, you know, go live or upload a video, you guys will be amongst the first to know. Um, also, every Tuesday, we are live on Instagram, guys, at G1 Insights, hashtag 555. You guys will find me, you'll be able to see me, contact me, speak with me, ask me anything that you like. Until then, you guys can also become a member of my website or of my Patreon page. And you guys, will, once again, you'll be able to stay in contact with me and be notified of anything brand new or interesting that will come to me or that I need to share with you. Okay, so I love you guys. Be good to yourself, Cancer. Thank you for watching and spread love and light everywhere you go. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.